Welcome back everybody. By golly, we've got a real treat here today. We're playing Cluedo, or Clue, basically, uh, through Steam. And I've got a friend here. Everybody meet Misanthrope. You can call me Miss. Miss, excellent. <laughs> Or Anthrope. Anthrope, right. I think we'll, we'll stick with Miss. I think, I think Miss is probably a good way to go. Now, are you familiar with Clue? I used to play this game when I was a kid. The card game, well, I mean, you know, it had like little trinkets and stuff too, didn't it? Like little, or... or I, mean, I think you're thinking Monopoly. I'm thinking Monopoly, yeah. yeah. Clue, um, you had... Well, maybe I'm thinking sorry. <laughs> uh, it's essentially, it, it's a, a logic game with like a process of elimination. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well, we'll see exactly how this goes. Now, it is, we're just using one computer here and we're uh, just kind of, uh, Miss is uh, is driving the computer at this point. So we can go ahead and get started if you want. We'll see what we've got. Are uh, we playing single player? Today? Yeah, yeah, okay. single, single player and then we can use... Uh, I've only got the one. Yep, tutor. Uh, I I love a tutor style, so let's go for that. Is that is that like the the type of a house or something? Yes. So well, it's also an era. The Tudors were a you might call them a dynasty. They oh were my. English what? kings and queens. Okay. In like the late 1500s, early 1600s, and so you've. You started with like, I think Henry the Seventh was the first tutor, then Henry the Eighth, and then you had a Mary, <laughs> and then an Elizabeth, and then I think after that it switches to the Stuart. Had no idea. Yep. No. All right, so, so we have to pick a character here. Who are we gonna be? Um, so there's Colonel Mustard, or my Mus logical choice, of course, well, the, the Colonel. Um, Mr. Green. Okay. Doctor Orchid. So that's not a character I remember from the original game. Hmm. Uh, maybe it was in like the British Cluedo, but in like American Clue, I don't recall a Doctor Orchid. Oh, okay. Uh, Mrs. Peacock was like one of my favorites. And did you ever see the movie Clue from like the 1980s with I, um, Tim Curry? Yeah, I did. It had like different endings, I think. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Kid, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that's, that was pretty cool. That is actually. such a classic. We need to go back and watch that yeah. again. Um, so Professor Plum, and I gotta say he's fabulous. That is dapper. That is I, dapper is what that is. I'm kind of on board with Professor Plum. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, or Miss Scarlet, and really Miss Scarlet looks like she ought to be given the peace sign on like her Instagram. So I don't. It looks I mean, like it, it looks like her right hand should have like a a chalice of beer or uh, something. You yeah, know, like some I can some see elegant that. drink with that pinky. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm, I'm, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a bow tie person myself, uh, but I, I can live with uh, with Mr. Plum. You know what? But I do like the title, Dr. Orchid. Like, uh, she went through some school, you know what I mean? We don't know if she's a professor, It's though. probably a liberal arts degree. We shouldn't, you know. You, you know what? Hey. To... <laughs> Are you going to offend your guests within five minutes? It's fine. <laughs> Liberal arts degrees are invaluable. It could be a, uh, you know, all right, fine. Some it's... of my favorite people are liberal arts professors. Oh, ah, okay, okay. All right, that's fair, that's yeah. fair. Okay. Uh, okay, so we are Dr. Orchid. Uh, we've got Colonel Mustard as medium AI against us. We've got Miss Scarlet as easy AI. I object. Just because she's dressed like that does not mean she's easy. <laughs> well, feel free to change it. You can click uh, right, yep, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what was that? All right. A momentary aneurysm there. No yeah. Um, and then, well, I, He frankly, would be. Yeah, easy, he does easy. look easy. Yeah, no yeah. Well, should uh, we just, just start with the three for now, you yeah, think? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right. Let's all see right. what's happening. Start game. So, there's Ooh, been a... Ooh, this is some... This is... Wow, this is fancier what than a, I expected. What is that? Horses with For, wings? I just want is, to, uh, is that that, a Pegasus? A Pegasus, and I just want to say that that style of house is not Tudor style. This is not Tudor. No. <laughs> no, they need to consult their architecture expert because that's... No, 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 no. Okay. Georgian so, at best, but I wouldn't even go there. It's more like Gothic. So, so they just... Okay, so... All right. So a killer, a weapon, and a room were removed from the deck, and everybody else were... Oh, gosh. Stuff's happening fast here. So, okay, so it looks like Miss Scarlet went into... Oh, my God. Jeez, slow down. She suggests... Miss Scarlet suggests Suggest it was her with the revolver in the ballroom. 
She, I don't think she knows how to wield that weapon. I mean, that is a complicated looking revolver, frankly. And that's that's her, like a, oh yeah. my golly. She's never been to the range. Um, <laughs> no, no, not if she's shooting like that. No, Can well, and she imagine? doesn't even have her top buttoned up. She's going to get brass down there, and that hurts. Yeah, yeah. Are those, uh, is, is her skirt like sheer? It I mean, does this, look, this yeah. This is ridiculous. I object. Um, okay, so, okay, Mr. Plum could help her somehow, it seems like. Okay. Well, so Mr. maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. Try hitting, uh, what do you think, continue uh, up at the top okay. of the green? Yeah, so it looks like Mr. Plum gave her an answer to one of those things. So he, he either has her revolver well, or, or ballroom. Ball room. Okay, all right. That's, um, yeah, go ahead. Is there, like, a way to put a question mark? I think you can click over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you can put a question mark. So we think that... And we can put a question mark in the ballroom? Well, see, we're... Hmm, so he's the purple one, so we might want to oh, do this okay. column Sorry. over yeah, yeah, yeah. here. So do we, like... This is complicated. <laughs> this is a lot more than okay. I was expecting. So he... This is him, right? Yeah, we, okay. he might have that. And he might have... What was the other ball one? Ballroom. Room. Okay. And he might have her. So he, he might have Scarlet. Okay. All right. So let's see what else. Presumably, what happens. we have the. Scarlet well, we, yeah, we've got a few. Uh, yeah, candlestick, billiard room, hall. Okay. So oh, we have can... a lot of cards. I don't. I feel like that's not right. Yeah, well, we got four. Are I guess. we cheating? <laughs> we slipped ourselves a couple cards. No big deal. <laughs> it's like playing Clue with a five-year-old. <laughs> cheating and you know digital clues or steam. <laughs> We're gonna get banned. <laughs> We're gonna get banned. What next? Plum goes. Okay. Oh, he rolled an eight. All right. Where's he going? Who even think? rolls dice these days? What, what is this, a D&D &D campaign? I don't Ridiculous. know, but I had him like going to the ballroom. So. Okay, so he does not have Miss Scarlet. Okay. He, he suggested it was Miss Scarlet, so he does not have Miss Scarlet. So we can take that away. Yeah. Uh, right. Candles. Lead pipe and hall. So we know that Colonel Mustard does not have... Scarlet Lead Piper Hall. I don't know if that really helps us a whole lot. Um, okay. Because it, it passed mustard and went to us. So. So and we can help him because we have the hall card, so we can tell him it's we can show him that card. Yeah, he's definitively wrong about the hall. So, so Scarlet. Click on that. Yeah, but we know that mustard also does not have Scarlet. Scarlet accused herself, and we don't have Scarlet. So yeah. Scarlet's looking like it might have been Scarlet. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of, okay. you know what, I'm going to, uh, yeah, okay. Colonel, Colonel Mustard. Where, where are you even a colonel from, sir? Retired? Mm -hmm. Were you were you a light colonel? <laughs> did your... He was in the cavalry. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's still a thing. Professor Plum. Okay, he well, we, was... we have Plum, yeah. And he, okay. Now, we so, have Mr. Plum. Yeah. And we have the hall. Yeah. So, so we... which one do we show him? Uh... Do we show him the hall? Because we already showed Professor Plum the hall. That stained, well. that stained glass on the door is pretty nice. He could probably appreciate that stained glass. I mean... With the lions... The statuesque it's, lion. It's kind of. I'm, <laughs> I'm searching here. I think it. It's not Art Deco. It's not Art Deco. <laughs> Maybe like Bow Art. Okay. Well, we showed Colonel oh, Mustard the hall. I think it's our turn now. Yeah. We, we gotta guess. I'm. I'm feeling Miss Scarlet. Go ahead. So we're gonna continue. All right. Well, first we have to decide where to go, or do, or do we have to click on these to roll? Oh yeah, you gotta click. Sorry. Okay. So we didn't roll a nine. We rolled a seven. Blech. Why the hell aren't we in Vegas? Ridiculous. Wait, sevens are good, right? So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> seven, right. seven, twenty-one, ace. Um, um, so, so we have... We can go to any of these places. We have billiard room and hall in our deck looking yeah. off to the so right. We're so, we're not going to go to the hall. And we're not going to go to the billiard room. Maybe, well, no, ballroom might have been what... Mr. Plum had something like that. Did I not put a... Well, no, no, yeah, we well, have yeah. a question mark there. Yeah, he, he might have had that one, so. Yeah, we have a... Well, he, no, he guessed that one. Not that he had it. 
Oh, uh, well. That's why I put the question mark. Ah, uh, okay. I have All no right. idea if I'm doing this right. No, nope, no big deal. No so, big deal. Uh, what's your favorite room? I'm I'm guessing it's going to be the the study, maybe, or the lounge. The, those are the cliche ones, but if you really want to get away with murder, it's got to be in the library. It's always the library. Nobody That's... expects murder in the library. But frankly, they haven't been reading enough British mysteries. <laughs> okay, right, so, so we got to click up on the top there. Okay, we're yeah. going to guess a weapon, no, I guess? No, we gotta guess a person oh, first. Oh, person first. So we know it's not plum. Do we know it's not plum? Yeah, oh, we yeah, have we plum okay. in, in yeah, our... Right. Okay. Um, I'm going with, you know, I don't I don't like to accuse a veteran, but he looks kind of nefarious. It's him or Mr. Green, frankly. <laughs> See, I was, I was thinking Scarlet. <laughs> I, well, but, I mean, uh, Miss Peacock was like my, my next guess. But yeah. Honestly, oh. the, you know, they all look nefarious. Give, give it a shot. Oh, wait, Mr. Yeah, he, his eyes match his suit. I mean, yeah, you can't trust a man who's eyes match his suit. He's sketch. Just remember that for Tinder people. Look at that. <laughs> Is Tinder still a thing? I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's don't know. Gra- well, Mr. Green, probably Grinder. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean. Can yeah. I say that? Hey, whatever. <laughs> All right, no let's go. No one's here to judge. Uh, um, if, so if I were going to do somebody in. We've What's, got candlestick and rope in our deck. Yeah, and frankly, a, a rope is a terrible thing to commit a crime with. There's just way too much evidence. Way too much commu- evidence. Yeah, so, All sorts of DNA. On um, yeah, things that are easy to clean. It's either going to be a lead pipe or a dagger. But you know what? Let's go with a wrench. Why not? You're likely to have a wrench totally. laying around. Yeah. And okay. we got to hit suggest up at the top. Let's okay. see. Let's see if anybody... Oh, Miss Scarlet <gasps> can refute this somehow. What do you have for us, Scarlet? Got to clean it. Let's oh, see. Oh, Sorry. she's got the wrench. Okay, so okay. It, it auto-updated. We know that someone has the wrench. Oh, so the X's are auto-updating what people do not have. Yeah, So okay. it could have been a lead pipe. Lead pipe All is right. still... All right. Let's continue. Let's see if Mr. Plum has anything for us. Yeah. No, can... nobody has anything else for us? Uh, no, um, once one person gives you a piece of evidence, it, it stops. So as far as we know, Mr. Plum might have had the library and Mr. Green. We just, we just yeah, don't know. We don't know. All right, so we have to end our turn. Yeah, back to Miss Scarlet. Okay. Hmm. Paul, Mr. Green, with the lead oh. pipe. Oh, Mr. Plum could help her. Mr. Plum could help her there somehow. And he doesn't, we know he doesn't have the hall. So Mr. Plum had, or I'm sorry, Professor Plum, we need to call him by his sorry, title. Sorry, sorry, so, academic title. Yeah, yeah, Professor Plum has either a lead pipe or Mr. Green. So let's give him a question mark here and a question mark here. Okay, shall we continue? Yeah. Okay. Who did they even kill? Like, do we know? No. Well, it was, uh, was it Mr. Black, I think, is the body? Is that, is that? I, what? I really like the movie where it's Mr. Body is the body. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, Limp Biscuit uh, Faith. Do you, are, you, are you familiar with that? I want to touch you. Something like that? Yeah. yeah. Touch your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess it would be nice. Yeah, there you go. If I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like me. <laughs> I kind of prefer your version to yeah, the biscuit yeah. version. All right, it's real, and I, I mean, prefer all versions to the George Michael version. I don't even know that. I honestly don't know that I've ever heard the George Michael version. It is George Michael, right? I don't know. Is this I'm, like a Tears for Fears situation I'm, where I just assume it's George Michael and it is? No, no. I mean, I would, your knowledge of music is a lot better than mine. It's really not. So we've got Peacock Ranch and the study. Uh, Can, we can't help him. Miss Scarlet was able to help, right? Or is, no, it's Miss Scarlet's turn. Yeah, Miss Scarlet is guessing. Yeah. Uh, with the no, rich. it's no, it's Mr. Plum is going now. Because Plum suggests. Oh it was yeah, you're right. So and then Ms. Scarlet Ms. helped him. Because she had the wrench, so she she you know she could help on the same piece that she helped with us. So she either so we're gonna go with Miss Scarlet, and she thinks. She either has a peacock. We know we she know. has the wrench. Ah, uh, so that's what she helped him and with. And she, mi- she, I mean, she might have the study. We, we don't know. You know, she could be helping with other things. We have no idea. Colonel Mustard. I, I have to say, I really like Colonel Mustard's mustache. What is that? 05? 05 for a light Colonel. 
Well, uh, yeah, an 05 is a light kernel, and an 06 is a full bird. Yeah, okay. All right. Colonel Mustard thinks it was Miss Peacock with the wrench in the study. Oh. Miss Scarlet was able to help him with with the wrench again. Okay, so, Probably. I mean, or, or she could have helped him with Peacock. And, and yeah, she could have helped him with the study as well, because that it seems like that yeah. was... Was that yep. the same... Colonel Mustard, seriously, is retirement addling your brain, sir? <laughs> he's got that. He's got that. Uh, that VA healthcare. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's <laughs> continue. Let's see. You make a suggestion in a room. You cannot stay there. We must move on. Okay, okay. good to know. Fine. I mean, so. Where did we go? We went to the library. Yeah, we still don't know. Like the library has not been eliminated. Yeah, I point. I'm fond of the library. I don't want to move, but if you're gonna make me, so we know it's not. Oh, we can't reach. And I can't go to the conservatory, which is the only place I would go other than the library. What do you think? We Should... we know. Hang on. You know, study is not a bad option because Miss uh, Scarlet has helped the last two people, and we know she had the wrench. So study is still It's the in only play. option because we know both of these things are, are not. Okay, well then, I mean, it's not a bad option then, is I what just, I'm saying. I prefer the conservatory. Everybody's focused on the study. It's a nice desk, frankly. These days, that's probably like a $2,000 desk. Ridiculous. It is pretty fancy. All right, who are we going to accuse? Um, who, who are we feeling? Can we, should we accuse ourselves? Like, we haven't been eliminated. Um, I just, I feel like we would not do that. We would have counsel present first before we admitted to anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We should not, we should not accuse ourselves. Uh, but what if it's us? I mean, it might be. <laughs> I don't um, know. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I, I don't know. We have a lot of... Still have a lot of unknowns. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with Colonel Mustard. Okay. I just, I feel like the the disability check and the retirement is just not cutting it for him. Yeah. He's, no, I get it. I totally get it. He's after the inheritance, obviously. What, what sort of weapon? I mean, is he is he going to go cliche revolver for this? That's so cliche. This piece up in here? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. No, Colonel Mustard in the study. <laughs> his, oh, please, come on, With guys. his expert marksmanship. <laughs> he, did, did he, I, he did not get an expert. He did not qual. He, he barely qual, if yeah, anything. That's, All right, punch it. That's how you know he was... He, yeah, he had a sword. Oh, Scarlet. What do you got? <gasps> so it is not the study. So she has the wrench and the study. So she did not have Peacock. We, uh, well... And now we don't we don't even know that for sure. Well, never mind. Yeah. I'm not very good at this. Just because she had the wrench in the study doesn't mean she didn't have peacock. That's right, yeah. This is it's kind of like Sudoku. It's like Cludoku. Scarlet. For anybody who might have heard the video with Kiddo, still sorting out the uh the audio of like recording with multiple people and stuff. I have no idea how Neebs Gaming does it, but you know, they've got like Two and a half million subscribers. They are way ahead of us. And they probably also don't have like Muppet voices. Also Muppet voices, yeah. Um, Scarlet okay. suggests it was Miss Peacock with the lead pipe in the dining room. We're still, on, so she does not have Miss Peacock then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. So we can. I don't even. I don't know. know what that's about. Can I put that there? Can I put an exclamation point there? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Draw yeah. our attention to it. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Scarlet does not have Miss Peacock. Okay. <laughs> Did you suddenly go vampire on the set? <laughs> you go count. Uh, who's, who's the count on? Uh... One. One lead pipe. Ah ah ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> you go. All right, so Miss Scarlet does not have the, the lead pipe. Yeah. And actually, she doesn't have Miss Peacock either, right? Shall we continue? Yep. Okay. Punch it. Snoochies. Okay. All right, but that means um, Mr. Plum has. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Plum has one of these things. That were, were were snooches? Was that was that a Muppet thing as well, or were those uh, snitches? Um, I uh, there's something. I was kind of thinking Snoochy Boochy, I think maybe, which might have been a Jay and Silent Bob. Oh, thing, but okay, all right. That's also been like 20 years. I was so thinking I don't know. there were little critters that were from like Muppets. Um, what were, oh, sorry, I was trying to figure out what Professor Plum might have. Yeah. So he may have the dining room. 
Yeah. And he may have a little. Oh, we had that already. Yeah. And he may have. Miss Peacock. Okay. Okay. All right. This is ridiculous. Bow tie wearing clown. Sevens. You know he's like. What? Where did he? Oh, oh, I forgot about the secret passage. My goodness. All right. He's in the kitchen. He says it was Colonel Mustard with a dagger. It's just, I don't trust the way that man wields a weapon. Hmm, Colonel, so Colonel Mustard was able to refute this particular accusation. All right, so we know Professor Plum. No, uh, he's, he's the one who accused. Right, so he accused. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. sorry, yep, yeah, you got so it. So we know he does not have... Mustard. Or a dagger. Yeah. Or is the kitchen. Why did that not... Come on now. There we go. Nailed it. And Colonel Mustard was able to refute one of these things. So Colonel Mustard, perhaps... I think I'm getting better at this game. I don't know that it's watchable. It's, but... been, it's been so long since I played this. Like, by golly. Okay. And what is... And Colonel Mustard might have Colonel Mustard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Continue. I don't know that I'm going to be able to make sense. Yeah, it's going to be us again. No, 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 no. no. It's Colonel Mustard's turn. A a three. Colonel. Only go to the kitchen, sir. KP duty for you, buddy. What? Yeah, so Scarlet... Suggests it was um, Mustard. She she has the wrench. We know Uh, she has the wrench, so... Yeah, okay. So... And she... Yeah, we know she did not have herself... She could conceivably have the kitchen, because we we know she has the wrench, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what she showed him, you know? Right. And... Okay. All right. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah, I think it's our turn. Our turn to accuse somebody. Go all in. Something ridiculous. The rooms in the corners have secret passages to the room on the opposite side of the main (sighs) room. Yes, we just remembered that. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. you. Hmm. Our turn. Okay. You know, I've lived in some pretty big houses in my day, and they didn't have secret passages. It's kind of ridiculous. You obviously haven't lived in the right parts of the country. I, I guess. <laughs> we, we didn't have, like, moonshiners in, you know, my areas. <laughs> or the Underground Railroad. Or the Underground Railroad, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, back to the library? We know uh, it's not the hall? Yeah. Yeah, we have not, have not eliminated library yet. That is a heck of a bust back there, too. There's, there's you know what? Epic bust. Listen, I just feel bad for whoever, whomever had to wear that underwire. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of bust. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, I um, so do we think perhaps... I'm, I'm starting to think Mrs. Peacock. Wait, no. We said... Yeah, Mrs. Peacock... Well, accusations relating to Mrs. Peacock have been eliminated a couple times. No well, one has. But it wasn't because of her. It was because of the other things. Yeah, that that, that's exa- that's exactly right. So we can. I mean, we can give it a try. All right, let's do it. <gasps> I just I like your dress. Okay. That is a nice dress. Uh. So we know wrench. Boy, we are, we are getting down to a re- revolver or dagger. See, well, I don't know. I just it depends. Like, are you feeling stabby today? <laughs> Well, it's like at least four days out of the week. What was me. that? What was uh, you were telling me about a show, like a British show where the guy it had uh, Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, the cleaner. The cleaner. Yeah, yeah. the first episode had Helena Bonham Carter. And yeah. It was so, what, what was that? What was that? Netflix. Uh, no, it's on BritBox. Brit? Sorry. Oh yeah, I know. Gosh. Yeah, I got a, I got a problem. What but uh, Helena Bonham Carter yes. played like a, she was like a murderer or something, right? Um, yeah. Well, no, we, no spoiler. Well, actually, there is no spoiler. Like, it's known from the beginning. Yeah. Um, so yes, Helena Bonham Carter is a murderer in the first episode of The Cleaner. And, uh. She, oh man, the, the, she like stabbed her husband a bunch of times, right? Like, yes, like and, it's, and it's hilarious too because he's not even a bad guy. He just like is really into model trains, and then 
She just clearly goes bonkers from her suburban middle-aged life. And, and, and frankly, I've never identified with somebody more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was her name in Harry Potter? What was the... Uh, she was Bellatrix Lestrange. Bellatrix Lestrange, that's is, right. Am yeah. I saying that right? I think so. Sirius's cousin. And yeah. she... <laughs> I mean, it's super weird, like, watching, like, British TV because there are so many of the same actors and actresses from the Harry Potter stuff that, uh, you know, end up, you just, you just see them like, oh, that's Professor Umbridge, you know, doing this one thing. And so my mom likes to say it's because England is a small island and they just have a limited talent pool. <laughs> uh, but I think that's wrong. I think per capita, they probably have more talented actors than like any other English speaking country, which makes sense because they're like the OG, right? Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> but so I do. I didn't actually watch the show or start watching the show for Helena Bonham Carter, who only appears in one episode, by the way, guys. So don't get too excited. Yeah. Um, but I watched the show because of Greg Davies, and I don't know if you know who this guy is, but he is a hilarious English comedian. Well, is he? Well, I don't know. He's, he's from the British Isles, and uh, he's like he's a giant of a man. He's he's like. What did you say? He was like six foot eight or he, something. Yes, exactly. He oh he's on the the high side. Of, of six feet something and um, it is just ludicrous watching him next to I mean Helena Bonham Carter is not a tall woman like I, I think she's maybe 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, and so seeing him act next to women who are on the average side, by the way, that is not short. 5'2", <laughs> 5'3", five, five, is very average for an American female. No judgment. She's, she's not American, I understand. But anyway, very average. And so seeing him next, act next to average height, you know, females, women, is very hilarious to me. Even more so than any funny thing that actually comes out of his mouth is just watching him. Yeah. Hulk next to people. Well, you showed me that show a couple times, and like, like the the. I mean, God, taking it back to architecture, who knew this was going to be like the architecture podcast? I love architecture. But like the the houses there, like I've been to Europe a few times, and like the, the watching this actor just try to act in like these authentic British homes when he's so tall, like he. He literally has to duck his head to get through like normal doorways most of the time. And yeah, he, he was six foot eight and I'm like not that much shorter than that. And like the, the guy just looks like a giant amongst like children. Nodak is six foot five for the record. He's, he's a big, he's a big guy. But anyway, yeah, Helena, Helena Bottom Car. I forget how we even got onto that. What, did, what, I what happened? Oh, 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 I think we're talking about daggers. All right. Oh, um, gosh. Okay, so. So, yeah. let, a dagger. Might let's, as well. Let's try okay. it. After what? all that, let's do the dagger. It's got to be the dagger in the library. What a better place to stab some. Oh, Scarlet, what do you got? <gasps> she had the dagger, the too. dagger all along. All Scarlet, right. you so dark horse. Lead pipe or revolver. Okay. All righty. Continuing oh. on. Whatever. We can't make a final accusation. Oh, we could, I suppose. Yeah, well, I mean, we could wing it, but you know, we don't. We don't. We, we do not have enough information at this point. Ah, uh, that's how I perpetually feel. <laughs> I'm lacking information. There are like so many add-ons to this. I might have to take a look. Mrs. Peacock. I don't know if I trust the add-ons though, because I can't even get the Tudor style architecture. With the right. rope, uh, we've got the rope and the hall. Okay, so wait, what do we? What, what information do we share? We've been telling everybody about the hall, but right. we, you know what I mean. Let's I'm do on, it again. Let's keep. Let's keep the fact that we have the rope. Let's keep that yeah, on the hush hush. I'm on board with only telling people the same thing. That way, it just. That's right. You know what I mean? Okay, so continue. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Or should I? Should we mark down what Scarlet thinks? Yeah, uh, that's a good. That's a good call. Okay, Scarlet. so we know she doesn't have Miss Peacock. Yeah, we and know now she... we know. She, well, that doesn't. That's not relevant. And Hall. Yeah. So, no, okay. okay. Didn't Disregard help us too much. As we were. That's all right. This guy. Snake eyes. Got the old yeah. And he's all about the secret passages. It makes me think he likes taking the back door. He looks like. <sighs> dun, dun. Mrs. Peacock with the revolver in the study. Okay. And Scarlet had something. But yeah, she had study. We, we knew she had study. All right. He's saying the revolver, too. Yeah. So we know. Oh, wait, that's not him. Yeah, we know that he does not have. Yeah. Oh, but purple. We can rule out purple then. Yeah, we can change that to a red X. 
this one. Yeah. We know that he, he, does not, help him. he does not have the revolver. Well, that just helps us make our next accusation. Okay. Shall we continue? Yep. Just, I feel like this mansion is missing a lot of relevant rooms. <laughs> like, where does where do people go to relieve themselves? Yeah, is there no like upstairs? Was all of this done on the main floor? Revolver, peacock, ballroom. Uh -huh. So Plum had. So we know Mr. Colonel Mustard doesn't have the power. Yeah. Andy does not have the revolver. No, no one has the revolver. I think the revolver is. The revolver is it for sure. Um, oh, what's the, the ballroom? It's kind of. Yeah, it could be ballroom, and nobody has Miss Peacock either. I mean, is it Miss okay. Peacock with the revolver in somewhere? Nobody's yeah. even been in the conservatory yet. We I would like... love to go to the conservatory. <laughs> Let's see, what we can roll. Mm. I really like plants. Yeah. Ooh, ten. They're like, right like plants that like, like flowers, like that grow. I mean, some are flowers. Or... Did you know that there is an entire garden, and I, I think it's somewhere in England, and it's like a poison garden where it's nothing but um, vegetation that could kill you. That sounds incredibly like sketchy. Yeah, conservatory, do it. Nobody's even been over there yet. I need to like, I, I'm obviously my memory fails me, so I can't tell you exactly where this place is. That looks like I, a nice place to like hang out during like a like a the snow. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm would, would be great yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, who did it? We're gonna say Miss Peacock, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna say it's the revolver. Well, it just disappoints me, Miss Peacock. Like, can anybody? Eliminate some options for us. Oh, oh, oh! oh okay. What do you got? What you Mustard. Got for us, oh, conservatory. Oh. Okay, conservatory is not it. That's weird, man. Peacock with the revolver somewhere. The library still hasn't been eliminated. I'm yeah, I mean, if we can roll another ten or something, make it back over there. I mean, we could make a suggestion too. We could end. Fine. It. Should we? Should we final accusation? I in? don't know. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Roll again, like another round? No, 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 up to you. Up Let's to do you. another round. All right, okay, one more. And... Well, I will see what we can do more if we need to. Yeah. Scarlet. Just, why is why does Miss Scarlet not have a letter A on her blouse? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Scarlet letter. Book reference in the library. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Ms. Okay, so Miss Scarlet has said that it was the rope. We know it's not the rope, and she has said it was the library. She also guessed so. herself. And she doesn't have library. So you can, yep, there we go. I mean, but what if you guess something to throw people off? That could be... But, and we're not playing her on easy mode. She might have, you know. She's intentionally <laughs> misleading, misleading us. us. Yeah. Hmm. Plum. Oh, he's rolled a ten. So, Miss, you know, you you are familiar with me as a YouTuber, of course, aerospace, that sort of thing. Are you are you familiar <gasps> with airplanes and that sort of thing? I'm sorry. Did we just get accused? We got accused. Ridiculous. I want my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually used to work on cargo aircraft for the military. Oh, all right. Cool. Um, and then I did what some people might recognize as flight following operations ah. for the U.S. military. So not exactly air traffic control, but you know. Something similar. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay. So let's let's take a look at this. This uh, mustard guessed us with the dagger. Yeah, and billiard room. Okay. okay. So yeah, this this will get debunked. Oh, nobody debunked that. Uh, okay, maybe that was Plum. Oh, Plum guessed that, and uh, Mustard debunked it. That was my fault. Okay. So, yeah, so you can... we can say that's a maybe and... Okay. This, this, I don't know. This is brutal. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Colonel Plum had his... Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
So we are able to help here because we know so mustard uh, we're gonna mustard to, guest plum rope dining room. And we are gonna have to divulge information that we have not yet divulged. Yeah, that's so okay. do we divulge plum or the rope? Really, I mean, do we let an innocent man get falsely accused? I would say I, I would say divulge the person because the weapon is really getting whittled down for people who are paying attention. So we don't we don't want to share too much information about the rope if we don't have to. Okay. We, we, we haven't told anybody about the rope yet. We've That's told true. everybody about the uh, hole. Yeah, good point. Okay, so Mr. Plum. Yeah. You have been absolved. Yeah, you, you, we, we have vouched for your credibility, good sir. <laughs> Something your face will never do. <laughs> yeah, he's no, 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 that hair, that hair. <laughs> Whenever another player makes a suggestion involving your character, you are moved to the room in question. Well, this would have been pertinent information before. Dang it! All, All right. right, fine. Dismiss. So we're. Still thinking library, maybe? I think we're in the billiard room. Yeah, we are, but we know it's not the billiard room. So we got to roll, and then we'll see where we go. Uh, hmm. We can go to the dining room. Nobody knows anything about the lounge. Library, look, Miss Peacock with the uh, revolver in the library. Should Let's we go do give it. a shot? Yeah. Revolver is way too loud to use in the library, I'm just saying. You will get shushed. Yeah. Is that Socrates back there? I have no idea. All right. Okay. They have a shrub elephant outside. Do you see that? Oh, it is, it's a topiary. My goodness. <laughs> no, Dax's all concerned about the vegetation. You know what? It's beautiful. <laughs> it, I want to know how they gave it tusks, frankly. Oh, man. All right. Punch it. Suggesting. Going to, oh, oh, what, what do you got? What you got for us, Professor? Oh, he's doing us a solid since all we right. resolved him. I was really sure it was the light. Darn it. Okay. So... Yep, keep it rolling. Shall we make a final accusation? I still don't know. I, I don't we even know, know nothing where about we lounge. would guess at this point. Yeah. yeah, lounge, dining room, or ballroom. That's really kitchen. the tricky part of this of this game because you have to get to the place in order to make the like the yeah. suggestion. Yeah. And so that I think the place probably takes the longest. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Let's let's keep let's do another round and see if we can figure out places here. All right. Scarlet. She looks a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer there for some reason. Oh too. man, Michelle know. Pfeiffer. I haven't thought about her in a long time. Mrs. Peacock keeps acting shocked that she's been suggested, and we all. Know. Everybody seems to know that it is. All right. Um, we still haven't disclosed anything about the weapon, so, so let's see. So yeah. the billiard room. Yeah, good call. You like pool? You ever played pool? Um, Billiards, yes, if you will. and I, I have to say that I actually play better when I've had a couple of drinks in me. <laughs> really? So, yeah, I know this is a family channel. Am I, am I allowed to divulge something? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, you know, you like, probably don't overthink it as much. I, I, can, I yeah, can relate to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now I want to go to Dave & Buster's. Um, I don't even know what that is. Okay. It's like an arcade place with terrible food. Do they even have food there? I don't know. I don't know either. There's just... A, uh, feral children and drunk adults, <laughs> and if if you want to hate humanity and also catch something viral, Dave and Buster's is the place to go. <laughs> I mean, so I, I hope you weren't oh, <laughs> trying to score a Dave and Buster's sponsorship. No, nope. <laughs> uh, please, I don't get sponsorships. Are you kidding me? You've seen you've seen the channel. That's, right. Oh man, eleven. Eleven. Seven come eleven, and she could be mine. Look, be a lady. That's a. A deep cut? That's Clint Black from like some 1990s country right My there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think it's Clint Black. I would, no, like to, I would like to think that at this point in the Clue stuff that like people, yeah. see. Oh, Snapdragon. I don't know who Snapdragon is, but I love their name. Got the, and they got the, the cat as the, the photo thing there. Snapdragon is like one of my favorite flowers. Have you ever seen a bee go after a Snapdragon? I didn't even know what a snapdragon is. It's a type of flower, and it has, it, it, so you, if you pinch its sides, it looks like it's opening and closing its mouth like a little dragon. Oh, interesting. It's adorable. <laughs> and what's even cuter about it is when bees go after their pollen, they, because the flower is kind of tubular, and so the bee will stick, like, the, the entire 
front half of its body all the way into the flower, and then they kind of wiggle their little butts <laughs> as they're going after it. It's it's the cutest freaking thing. The fuzzier the bee, the more adorable it is. Like getting into it. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to disclose the rope thing here. <sighs> only only Plum knows about the rope yeah, now. So. He's, I feel like he's our buddy against our But he, he does not have, uh, we know that he doesn't have lounge. So okay. that's two people we know does, don't have lounge. So. Yeah. Okay. If we can make our way over to the lounge, maybe that's our next place to make an I, accusation. I feel like that's, yeah, okay. I would like to think at this point that Miss Peacock is like under house arrest, like in the <laughs> kitchen pantry or something like that. I mean, she ought to be just for that hairstyle. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What do you got, Colonel? Colonel. Okay. She always gasps. like With the revolver, I think everybody is ruling out... <gasps> Oh man. He might have gotten I it. I think the Colonel won. You he might have gotten it. The darn lounge. You SOB. I think he was on easy AI also. Dang it. Man. Colonel is going to make an egg. <laughs> His mustache. Like, what kind of wax does he use on that thing? Do you think he conditions? Oh my gosh. Did he get it? Did he get it? Dang it. Dang it. Oh, that SOB. Oh. Look at his face too. Like the Colonel, looks like you're you're doing something like not suitable for public display right there. Man. <laughs> yeah, everybody knew it was you, Miss Peacock. Ugh, we got Lady Lady Justice or whatever her name is. I can't believe the Colonel beat us. Yeah. Oh man. That's yeah. the Story of my life that's for like ridic- twelve years. That's ridiculous. We got, <laughs> there's some there are some officers we need to text about <laughs> this. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, oh well, well, did you have a good time, Misanthrope? Yeah, we can do this again. Excellent. Yeah, this could be. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to see. We'll have to find some other games, and I, I think I might like try to get like a, another Steam account or something so we could do like, there's like a putt putt golf game and stuff. I mean, there, there's a lot of different stuff yeah. we could do with like two Steam accounts. Okay, well, we're gonna leave this one here, and uh, hopefully, you guys will come back next time. Thanks for watching.